Welcome back to the Nerdyverse. I'm Danny. I'm Jane. And here we are for some more Jobless Reincarnation, episode four of season two. And uh, hopefully we um, are going to see him in a much better place because it didn't end too well for him, did it, in the last episode? It yeah, well. like... It was kind of both of their faults, though, if you think about it. It was, yeah. It was just, like, lack of communication. Like, she, like, f yeah, so I read up a little bit about it because I've been, like, looking into, like, the novels and stuff. So, like, the problem she had was she didn't understand what was going on. She thought that he wasn't attracted to her, and that was the reason why he couldn't get it up. So she, like, got very self-conscious about it. And then, yeah, he then... Uh, also, you know, didn't communicate, like, what was happening as well. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just all went to shit after that, didn't it? <laughs> Note to self. Communicate well, people. Communicate well. And you won't have this problem. But, uh, yeah. yep, so excited to see what's going to happen with that. Oh, by the way, just so um, in case you didn't know, we have partnered with G Fuel, by the way. So, uh, got my nice little drink here and then tubs are behind me there. So, if anybody's after some discount... For G Fuel, guess what? We can help you out. All you need to do is, there should be a link or uh, a code within the description. Nerdyverse Fuel, use that and you'll get 10% or 15%, something like 10-15% uh, off. So, uh, yeah. Are we, are we ready to rock and roll with this then and get straight into this episode? Yeah, let's jump straight in. Okay, on three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Oh, what's it, is it is it kicking us off when where we left off, or are we someone else now? Well, he went on an adventure with uh, the other guy's party, didn't he? I think. Ah, he yes, he went do. with uh, he went with my favourite leader. Yeah. Glad he left Timothy. Timothy was a shit leader. Now we've got the real leader now. I love how he's casually just decided to. <laughs> oh god, is he about to eliminate all of these, um... <laughs> That's useful for scouting, isn't it? It is, like, that. that is mega useful. <laughs> Does he really need the rest of these? Can't he just one-shot them? Yeah, that's why his nickname's Quagmire, is because he does this, like, uh, Quagmire ability, which, like, turns the floor into yeah. a swamp, gets them all stuck. Um, I've noticed also, he does go giggity 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 a lot as well. But, yeah, Quagmire, get it? To be fair, he's Quagmire in that sense as well, isn't he? Because he likes to do a bit of that at night as well. He is an absolute degenerate. Oh, <laughs> here comes oh, the red shit. dragon. <laughs> oh dear, this is uh, this is going to be a problem. It's the first time fighting a dragon, isn't it? It is. Um, shouldn't That's they be a, a bit, bit more worried than what they are? Uh, oh, um, gonna get out of this. I don't know. Surely, I reckon someone's gonna turn up, aren't they? Someone's definitely turning up in a minute. It's probably gonna be Ella Melise, isn't it? Oh. She appeared in the after credits last episode, looking for uh, Rudy, I think. Yeah, it could be her. Then, couldn't it? I mean, he seems to be. Well, um, I don't know now. <laughs> that did not look good. Oh, here we go. Are we gonna see him pop off now. Maybe. Oh, here it is. Oh, there's his. Uh... Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Wow. Um... <laughs> Rudy is uh, just. Um... Whoa, oh, Rudy. Rudy, Rudy what is wrong with you? I know you're angry, but come on. <laughs> oh. Oh, so that's his uh, famous stone missile move. Um, but he made that look easy, didn't he? 
That was bloody sick. <laughs> Pray at the shrine. Sacred. <laughs> the sacred items. Yeah. <laughs> Why is building I, so wonky? <laughs> I hope, I hope, for, uh, buff, buff Rudy here. We saw this in the other episode, he's been working out every morning, hasn't he? To... True. He's a gym my guy's, right now. My, guy, my guy's got cake as well. <laughs> Ooh, who's rocked up then? Is that other than these? Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah it is. Yeah it is, yeah. It is. <laughs> She'll sort out his uh, problem we had in the last episode. <laughs> so going forward, she's going to be quite an important character. Do you know much about her yet? No, 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 no. Apart from her wanting a bit of this all the time. Uh, so she used to be a party member with Paul like back in the day. Ah, right. But she also travelled a lot around with uh, Roxy for a bit. I think we saw her a bit in the first season, travelling around with the dwarfs. Um, あなたの父パウロの元パーティーメンバーですよ。ああ、そうですね。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキシ。ロキ
Wait, is it two years since... Um, His problem, he says. He says I've had a disease for two years. Or is it years, two so... years since Eris? But he said he's had two years of that disease, so it must be two years of him finding out, right? I'm not sure if it's since finding out or since what happened with Eris, because I'm pretty sure he's figured out that was probably the reason. Right? <laughs> Wow. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, God. See, my guy is a good leader. And a good romance. <laughs> Ticking the boxes. <laughs> That's awkward, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is pretty awkward, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I love how open they're just talking about this, like, what? Yeah. Wow. Literally, <laughs> did she just go with everyone? Yes. So, she is, uh... What? <laughs> There's a reason for it. You'll, there, you'll can't be a legit it there can't be a legitimate there is, reason. There is a legitimate reason for it. There can't be. It's, it actually can't be. <laughs> it's a very convenient reason, but there is a reason for it. Don't tell me she gains magical power or recharges her abilities by doing that. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> you'll find out about it eventually. Because that is dumb. <laughs> She's paying them. <laughs> yeah, this is just... What the hell? Uh-oh, is he the next target? <laughs> Who's the letter from? Roxy, or...? Ah, right, it's for the... It's for this art, then, isn't it? Yeah. The, the university so we just found out today, by the way, everybody. Next week is the University Arc kickoff. So this I'm worried about me. this because I don't think you're going to enjoy this arc because I think it's quite slice of lifey. Sort of a lot of character development for various characters and stuff. I'm hoping it will still have you invested in it. But it's fine. Just wait, wait me up when it's finished and we get to the killing. <laughs> <laughs> but the arcs following it are really fucking good, so I'm excited when we get to that, but I'm not sure if that's going to be like season 3 or something. But then again, I'm sure two I'll still be invested. So. I'll still... Hey, I'll, I'm sure I'm invested now. I'm too far in. <laughs> Can you imagine how powerful his magic is going to get now that he's actually going to properly learn about magic? Yeah, I was just interested about that to see what, what power he's going to have at the end of it. And you saw how crazy his uh, stone missiles were <laughs> like earlier, right? <laughs> wonder if you'll, when you'll meet Sophie again, hopefully not long. Mm. Oh god, <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> I swear she just goes for everyone, Mum. Doesn't matter who. She does. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Was she part of uh, Paul's harem? <laughs> oh. Oh, he's the going on now. Oh, yeah, yeah, here he is, yeah. Yeah, two years. Two years. The last time he saw him was... Was it when he had sex with Eris? Was that the last time he showed up? Yeah. So I'm guessing, yeah, he meant two years since that, not when he uh, slept with Sarah. I need to know more about what this guy's role in everything. I know, I'm so fucking curious about this. Oh, that's 
Because I don't really know much about him, man. Like, what apart from think? the fact that... What do you think he's... What, what do you think he is, or what's the point of him? Any sort of theories or anything? I feel like he's like... He's got something to do with the reincarnation, right? Maybe. But I feel like he's the ultimate villain, maybe, at the end, I do. Mm. I feel like he wants all like these powerful beings killed so that he could be the most powerful being. What do you mean, uh, powerful beings being killed? Well, there's so many people that he's apparently put curses on, isn't he? In the f remember the first thing he talked about? Was it curses? Is that what they call it in this? Yeah. Yeah, he put curse on that d dragon guy. You know the guy that they met that he one shot at everybody. What's that? Yeah. Uh, no, not him though. The, the guy that they all fought. Huh? The guy that they all fought on that like, like mountainous area, and, and they wiped them all. Yeah, Austin. Oh, is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering all if, that, if if the dragon god isn't all that bad. I think I don't know. I don't think so. Because if you think about it. When he fought Orsted, Orsted didn't actually do anything to him until he mentioned the Man God, right? And then that yeah, was then he Orsted then he attacked him. him. Yeah. So I think there's some sort of conflict between Orsted and the Man God. The question yeah. is, which one's good I think, and which one's bad? Well, uh, wow. I think Man God is evil, and I think Orsted's good. Yeah. That's my theory. That's what I'm sticking with. Essentially. I think this is the first time we've properly seen his face, you know. Yeah, this is more than we've seen of him usually. Usually it's really hard to see him, isn't it? Yeah. Well, is he saying, uh... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Why is he floating up like an angel? <laughs> I don't this like is how you I don't, fix I, your ED. <laughs> and it just I don't like, like that man, God, man. I just really don't like him. Yeah, he's kind of creepy. Oh, I don't. Wait, like wait, what the hell? Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Well, safe to say he's not slept with anybody since Eris at the moment. He's going to go to university to get a degree in fixing his dick. I mean, when you put it that <laughs> that, that is literally the plot, right? Ah. <laughs> 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 Why is he throwing a tantrum? <laughs> because he doesn't want him to leave, does he? Yeah. He's gotten to like him, I think. <laughs> Your schlong can be cute. <laughs> Oh, on to the next arc then. Yes, we have done we are done with the prologue arc and now it's time to get into yeah. the main juice of season two. Follow that yellow brick road to the university. <laughs> next episode, it's Fresh's Night. <laughs> She getting railed in that room right next to it. Yep. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh. Here are some uh, important characters for later. Yeah, I'm excited to see some more character development yeah. in other people, to be fair. <laughs> oh, they're selfie. I am excited for this. Some of my favourite characters in the series get introduced in this uh, season, so... 
It's going to be good. Yeah, I am. I am excited for more. To be fair, be good. A lot of the characters that get introduced here are pretty much going to be like the main characters for the rest of the series going forward. Yeah, so this feels like this was just a tiny little arc to get yeah, us going. this was kind of bridging us from season one to the actual proper season two. I feel yeah, like this yeah, is yeah. going to be where the majority of season two is going to be taking place now. Right, is that the end yeah, of the episode? It. it is, yeah, and there it is, telling us that the uh, next arc kicks off. So yeah, what did you think to the episode? University arc begins. What did you think of the episode? Well, I asked you that first, but I'll go. Um, I thought it was good, good, nice bridge. Um, it, it, obviously, quite a slow one, but I get it. Yeah. It's a bridge episode, so it's it's it always always going to be fairly slow in terms of doing the close down for the little mini arc, and then yeah. kicking us off for now what the real bigger arc, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, it's been a slow start the first few episodes, obviously because it felt like I suppose because it's such a small little mini arc to get us into yeah. this it was it's been a really slow one so hopefully it it does increase the pace a little bit in terms of character de development or fighting which are either or but the character development would be nice um i feel like we've got over his depressive stage i feel like that's what the first four episodes have done for me it's kind, kind of, of him out yeah of i think he's got over it i don't think he's fully gotten over it but he's got to the point now where he's got another problem that he needs to have his focus on yes yeah, um, is, I feel like that's yeah. what the point of this, like, sort of first arc was was sort of, yeah, 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 discovering what his motivations are and his new, <laughs> as stupid as it is, is uh, his new uh, goal in life is to cure his uh, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, that's that's a bit creepy, but uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, we'll take it. It is what it is. So I'm excited to see more. I'm excited to see where it goes now um, and see what what's coming for us in this next arc. So. Off to school, I suppose. Yeah, the, the next season, I think, is going to be quite slow. So I'm hoping you don't burn out on it. But I think a lot of the season is basically just like character development. There's going to be a, quite a lot of new characters introduced. And it's just going to be slowly developing them. But do you think it'll yeah, cover overall... both? Do you think this arc will cover both cores? Or do you think this is one core for this and then the other core for, for something else? I'm not sure how much this first core is going to cover. But I think it's probably going to take up. Was was last last season? Was the first core twelve episodes, or was it like twenty? Episodes? First core is twelve episodes, so it's twelve episodes again. So we've got eight episodes left of this first mm. core, and then another. I'm curious, five. yeah, because when I checked out the series, I was reading the novel, so I'm not sure how much of a novel like is an episode. So maybe yeah. the episodes will manage to get through the story a lot quicker than it took me to get through it. But, yeah, um, potentially the second core we might get to after the university arc, and that's where shit goes wild, man. I can't wait until we get to that sort of stuff, because, uh, yeah, after this arc, just uh, everything after that has just been absolute bangers. Like, Good. I'm so well, excited for you to see I'll, that sort of stuff. I will hold, then. I will hold on. Yeah, I'll definitely, yeah, definitely keep watching it and just like, even if it's a bit slow and a bit boring, just like, just take it as what it is. It's just developing. All it's the fine. Slowly. I've got, I've got, I've got Jujutsu Kaisen to keep me the action <laughs> fulfilled, fulfilled. I've got like, uh, well, so I've got Berserk. I'm still on that. Like, that's yeah, got you've action. Got Bleach as well. So it's all good. I've got there. Bleach. Yeah, I've got plenty of action around me. So it's fine. It's all good. It's fine. Cool. I'm fine. Okay, so excited to see the next episode. Let us know what you thought in the comments and we will see you all again in a week. Cool. Cheers, guys. Bye.